everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 The Green Family Legacy and we are here with our lovely Lily. So we are over at Lily's branch of the Green Family and it looks like, um, well she's working in her dress, just to note that, at 5 in the morning building her rocket ship because she is a woman who more pays attention to the stars and space and the adventure and all of the challenges that await her out in space rather than, you know, the mundane things like keeping proper sleeping hours. Who needs sleeping hours when you spend most of your time out amongst the stars anyway but I just noticed in the background back there is Mr. Dawn <laughs> he is just like stretching in the background I guess this is kind of a popular park um for joggers oh and there's somebody who's really sad back here oh it's Liberty Lee oh my gosh and this is so chaotically messy we're gonna have to clean this up later but look at this I love the new place they live in I had never been over here before and I mean this is just it's just so stunning. Look, it's a butterfly. It's some tattoos. Hi, Don. How are you doing? Oh, wow. I never noticed your hat is like so psychedelically cool. Oh, wow. And there's some people back here, too. Oh, my gosh. It's just so pretty, though. I mean, look at this. I would love to live somewhere where I can see this kind of stuff. I kind of do. And I love it. But I do see like that city skyscraper in the background. And, you know, I'm I'm totally more into like rural things. I would love to have like, say, an a urban farm expansion at some point but I have to admit I see that and it kind of makes me go like oh wow I wonder what they could do in a city like could they do food carts oh my goodness I should probably do a little a little sims 4 update because they have leaked a poll that people put out for the next sims 4 expansion and I'll have to I'll have to talk to you guys more about that but not not right now not right now because right now we have lovely little Zoe jogging around and we've got lovely Lily working on her rocket ship and today is going to be Lily's elder birthday. I can't believe it's happening, but it's happening. We are going to try to throw her a little birthday party uh, before she leaves for work because she loves work and she wouldn't work for two more days after that. So I don't think she wants to miss work. But first thing, since it's like not even six in the morning yet, we're going to let her work on her little rocket ship for a while longer. I think she's almost done. And I think I'm going to have to see if Alia can stay home from school. Uh, what's her grade? She's a high school A student right now. Class is in a couple... Oh, no, so Dang it, Zoe! <laughs> dang it, Zoe! Okay, fine. I'm going to have to wait to throw Lily's birthday party later. Zoe, when do you get home? <laughs> you weren't supposed to go to work. You were supposed to, like, come home early. Can I make you come home early? I can. It would hurt her performance. And... Well, ah, it's your wife's birthday. You're coming home early. <laughs> All right, we're going to make that happen. I can't believe that happened to me. I wasn't paying attention. And do we have enough money for a microbite for another one of our awesome electronic trash cans? Because we kind of need that so we can pull in the tiniest bit of extra funds. Both households are kind of struggling for moolah at the moment. It's kind of surprising. For so long, they just had so much money. No! Oh, dang it. I'm still just a tiny bit short. Is there anything I could sell? Anything extra? A rock, maybe? I like my rocks, though. Uh, that's Iris's painting, so it's kind of like a present to the family. I don't want to sell that. Uh, what about you? We can sell... <laughs> that's only 50 worth $50. Oh my gosh, but this one's worth 600 Woo, it's an investment. We'll buy more bamboo again one day. But for now, we need our own microbite. Yay! That's going to majorly help. Because now we can make like 30 extra dollars. Yay, go microbite, go! Now we have a little bit of an extra money maker in recycling our goods. Well, dang it, I was gonna throw Lily's birthday party so that she could age up, but then her wife had to go and get off to work. I think we're gonna we're gonna make that like make Zoe come home though. I'll let her stay at work for a little while longer. And then Lily Zoe, did you have like you even have vacation days we could have used? Oh, and she's got vacation days, too. Can I just have her, like, call into school somehow? Be like, I'm using a vacation day. Let's see. Um, Take vaca vacation day. There we go. So let's have her come, come and take a vacation day so that she can stay at home with her mom. Um, we're going to go ahead and skip work. And then maybe we can call, like, and retroactively be like, I'm taking a vacation day. Sorry, forgot it was my, my wife's birthday. We're making this happen. This is going to be a thing. Oh, Alia. 
she just ate some beans, so she's feeling a little bit a little bit special right now. And actually, Alia's little garden, look at it, look at it. It's doing well. We're gonna come and we're gonna clean it up a little bit. All right, Zoe is home. Can you weed your garden okay, Alia? Are there some problems? Oops, nope, Zoe, don't, don't do that, Zoe. Where's Zoe? All right, so Zoe's now home. Can I have her call and take a vacation day? Dun dun. Colin fake sick to work. We already came home. The boss is already unhappy. Rah! All right, well, we'll have to work on that. Sorry, Zozo. I didn't mean to get you in trouble with your boss. All right, every day one. And Lily is actually almost done upgrading her rocket. So I'm going to wait till she's done upgrading her rocket. And then we will throw her a birthday party, invite the family over. Um, is there anyone here who can make a cake? <laughs> That's a good question. I think actually Lily has the highest in cooking skills. No, no, there's a high enough cooking skill amongst Zozo that she could do it. Let's have her go and... Does she like yoga? I think she likes yoga. Let's have her come over. Well, she really wants to chat with people, to be honest. So she'll go back on her little jogging. Maybe we'll meet some more people. Oh, look, it's Tate! Oh, perfect! Perfect! Ask to hang out. Tate, come! Tate, come hang out! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're just like right here, Tate. Come hang out with us. Come visit. Oh, this is so fun just to be able to have the family walk by. This is awesome. All right, let's brighten his day. Uh, let's do heartfelt compliments. Can we compliment his outfit? Heartfelt compliment again. Why not? Zoe's full of it, and she loves giving people, like, jokes and compliments and being nice to them because she's just so sweet. Don't insult. I say that, and then she's like, I'm going to insult him. No, Zoe. You can't do that. Um, let's see, she wants to tell a joke. Where's joke? Enthuse about space. Let's do funny. Funny. Knock knock joke. There we go. Yay, Tate's hanging out! Alia, where are you going? Oh, Alia's off to, to talk with her mom and her uncle. Is Lily coming over to talk with them too? No, she's trying to go update her social network. She's like, I just finished building my rocket! Huzzah! Wonderful! Also, who's this? So many new sims everywhere. New teens. This is fun. All right, so let's throw a social outing. Let's see. Plan a social event. Lily girl, it's your birthday. You're going to reach elderhood. You know, I think she's going to make a pretty cool elder. Traveling space still. Adventuring through the stars. And it is time for her to turn into an elder. It's been a long time in coming, but it is indeed time for her to be a birthday girl. We're going to invite over some guests. Ooh, we should invite over some aliens. That would be really cool. So Iris Pine. Let's see. We'll invite some aliens over. Her niece and nephews. Uh, her brother. Is that, is that that whole side of the family? No, we need Devin. Even though she doesn't like Devin, I'm inviting Devin. And inviting both the aliens she knows. And is she really friends with anybody else? Not really. So we'll just call that it. Alright, caterer. We're going to make... Should we make Iris the caterer? That sounds like it would be kind of fun, actually. Let's have Iris cater. Because she's a good caterer. And she can also kind of be a guest that way. And that should do it. And here at the house... Oh, look at her! She's in her little outfit. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. And we need Sims dancing. We need Sims playing games. We don't have things to dance and play games. Why? Okay, well, it's your birthday, Lily. I'll do my best. We might mostly stay outside for today. Too bad we don't have, like, the hot tub or a pool or anything like that. But maybe in the future. Generation 1 really kind of pushed themselves for years, and now Generation 2 is just going to have to pick up the slack. All right, well, we have a little kaboom box. This is the best I can do. I apologize, Lily. All right, and what about games? Can I afford to get a little game thing? I think we can. I think we can afford the got game table. And we'll actually go ahead and put that over here. We'll put the music, like, out here. So that people can come, and if I can just get enough chairs, <laughs> if we can just afford, like, afford the chairs, we might be able to pull this off. Where's, like, the cheapest chair? I want, like, the cheapest one. Um, probably, oh, is that going to be the cheapest? 
We can get some tree stumps. We can line up tree stumps. I don't think that's what they, like, I don't think they work, actually. Darn. Um. Well. We've got these. Is there something else that's cheaper? There's, there's an outdoor project chair that's worth only a hundred. Here we go, a beach living chair. 50 simalonians. I don't think this is the kind that works for this either, though. Dang it. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if they can play on this. And if they can't, we'll sell them and try new chairs. Lily, didn't quite see your birthday working out like this. There's not enough chairs at the table. Dang it. So we'll sell these. I said we'll sell these. Come on. Man, Lily, setting up your birthday. I should have planned this a little better. This is only like maybe the fourth birthday I've ever hosted. <laughs> so it's not, not the most, um, not the most put together thing. I'll admit that. Okay, let's do black chairs. There we go. Now we're starting to get something going for you, Lily. You got enough family members. You guys can all play card games together. Let's play games. Let's have your brother. Let's have everybody come over. Start playing some games with you. Let's see how that goes. We'll have a group mill made. We'll get the music going. Iris will start making her wonderful fruit parfait, which is everything that they tend to eat. And let's listen to... Easy listening, I guess. All right, and look, see, look at Iris go. Is she making us a cake? Iris, you're so sweet. Where's the rest of Lily's family? There's, oh, look at this, Devin's coming over. Holly's apparently in a pretty bad mood. <gasps> Everyone's coming over, look at this. Yay, Ash is over in his ridiculous outfit. They probably found a babysitter somewhere. Yay, Sims are enjoying playing the game at the same time. Family bond. Dang it, Alia. I need to stop feeding her beans. That's not very, not very attractive, Alia. Among anyone. Except maybe to aliens. No, I think your mom's telling you even aliens don't like that kind of, kind of nonsense. Have the birthday sim chat while happy. Well, I think she's happy. Hey, Pine. We've got some aliens over. Oh my gosh. Alia would totally like ditch the card game to come and talk. Uh friendly introduction because she loves aliens so let's come over and chat with the aliens iris oh iris a caprice salad i'm feeling it okay maybell is angry maybe we can cheer her up let's see try to calm down oh meanwhile this little couple is flirting i really do love hosting parties actually we might start making it kind of a weekly thing to have the, now that the family has kind of split, we might start making it a weekly thing where the family just gets to hang out together. Um, Ash, are you upstairs playing video games? Dang it, Ash! How did I know? How did I know? I wonder if Holly, their colors kind of match. I wonder if Holly might be an aliens. He's like, so what do you think of me? That's adorable. All right, party seems to be going well. Have Sims dance at the same time. All right, let's uh, thank for coming. And is there somewhere we can like dance with her? Uh, I don't think so. So whoops, let's thank her for coming. And let's dance. In fact, let's go to dance together maybe. And dance together. Come on everybody, let's all dance. Around the little boom box. Hey, hey. Woohoo! Hey, and it's Holly! Show off outfit to your cousin. Invite Holly to dance. I could see these two going out a lot with the get to uh, the get together expansion that's gonna come out in November. If they're still around, I could see Holly and Alia definitely going out and having a good time together. All right, compliment the birthday sim. Oh, we can pull that off. Zozo, oh, look at everybody kind of bonding. And Iris is still making a million Capri salads. Oh my gosh. What if we don't have enough money for the birthday cake after this? We might need to intervene. I'm a little worried we won't have enough birthday cake money. We might have to sell a chair so we can afford it. Pine, why are you talking about super hot woohoo? I guess they're all more or less adults. All right. And Maybelle is fine. She's no longer angry anymore. All right, so let's have someone compliment the birthday Sam. Um... Let's come over here. Profess undying love to your wife. 
blow a kiss. <laughs> and let's see. Where's compliment? Like the birthday sim. Oh, I guess that would just be like flatter or something like that. Woohoo and rocket ship. Not in the middle of the party, honey. Maybe afterward. Oh, I love that little interaction. It's just so sweet. Meanwhile, this seems to be going pretty well. Everyone's dancing. Having a good time. Alia and Holly, I think, get along very well as cousins. There we go. Did we compliment the birthday sim yet? Do we have a cake yet? Iris, I'm beginning to wonder. Iris is like, no, I need to show off my bacon, my BLT, and my Capri salad skills. Iris, please make a birthday cake. Can we, like, direct her to make a birthday cake? Be like, Iris, um, okay, it's cake time. Cake time, please. Oh, dear, she's making another salad. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to casually, like, start putting salad back in the fridge. Oh, my gosh, why can't I put the salad back in the fridge? <gasps> okay, quick. Uh, we need to come over here and, like, bake an actual cake before Iris goes nuts. Endless salads! Oh my goodness. Okay, um, let's have... It needs to be... Let's do a fancy cake. Cook a gourmet meal. Let's do another black and white cake. It just seems very lily. And I really hope that's just enough money to pull it off. Lily seems to be having a good time chit-chatting with her alien friend. Yes, thanks for coming. Uh, reveal brilliant invention. Meanwhile, these two are having a good time. Let's see, what's your problem? Oh, she's tired. She's dancing her little heart out and getting exhausted as a result. She's having a deep conversation with her cousin while they're, they're like, dancing here, though. Alright. Alright, these guys are doing good. Do we have a cake yet? She's trying to make a cake. Good job, Zoe. You're rescuing the day. From Iris. Where the heck did she go? Is she like baking cake in another room? Has she taken over the counters upstairs? I'm so worried. I, I'm just gonna... There's Iris. Iris, you can't just... She's playing... She's playing games. Yeah. She just came over, made a bazillion and a half cakes. You can do it, Zozo. You can do it. I know you can. Are you thinking about how it's almost your own birthday? Should we just... We should probably just have Zoe age up right now, shouldn't we? I think that would be sweet, actually, to have... Yeah, they're set to age at the same time. So I think we'll have both Zoe and Lily age up right now. Lily has dis <laughs> discovered that Maribel is an alien. Really? Good job. Apparently the relationship is uh, having some issues, though. She's feeling confident, though. <gasps> it's the cake! Yay! There we go. Now we can add birthday candles to it. And let's have the birthday sim come over. And let's see. Let's let's come over and just go ahead and blow out the candles now. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll blow out the candles. And then we'll have the others start blowing out candles too. It's time, everybody. Time for celebration. Alright, let's turn all this off. I'm going to turn the music off so that they get the clue. Oh, and Alia just got her charisma skill leveled up. You know, she's so much more social than I really gave her credit for. Alright, here we go. Everybody ready? Lily, you didn't even wait for everyone. Iris is just in the background. Look at your eyes. That's so creepy, Lily. But Iris is just like frantically in the background. Singing her heart out, and everyone else is ignoring her. <gasps> Lily! Party like the Reaper's not right around the corner. Not bad, Lily. Not bad. Glad to know the bladder is already having issues. Um, let's see. Lily can't, Lily can't afford to add more birthday candles to the cake. <gasps> That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Quick microbite to the rescue. I think microbite will be able to, to save us. I need to plan these birthdays better. That is what I need to do. I need to like be a better birthday planner for my poor Sims. They're just trying to have like a good time. There we go. There we go. Now we have enough to add birthday candles. Um, actually, I think we'll have... Uh, where is it? Let's do... Yeah, let's add birthday candles. Before people start getting the cake. It's okay, Lily. How you feeling? How's elderhood? 
There we go. And now at least everybody's here for when we're going to have this Missy come and age up. Oh no, she's already sick? Lily, no! Oh, we have some merging of, of people going on here. Let's have Zoe blow out the candles. Solidarity. Elder Solidarity. That's what this is. There you go, Zozo. At least everyone's cheering for you. All right. Oh, she aged up beautifully. There we go. Oh, she actually looks pretty happy. We might have to do a little bit about the eyeshadow and some dye of the uh, the eyebrows, but I think she's going to be pretty happy. So let's come over and compliment our birthday sim. If she's, uh, where's she going? Chat with Iris. And take a piece of the cake. And let's have you take a piece of the cake. Come on, everybody. We need, we need at least four people to eat the cake, please. But everyone's full on Capri salad. Why, Zoe? Or why? Why? Iris, why? All right, can we, let's do call to meal. That should do it. That should do it. There we go. No, Pine, why'd you make the healthier choice and get Capri salad? Why? I could, but Ash, I thought I for sure could rely on you at least. All right, there we go. Oh, and somebody is reading a book. I see how it is, Devin. All right, there. Yay! All right, so we just need somebody to come over and compliment our birthday sim. So let's come over here and compliment. Compliment outfit. There we go. Zoe. Uh, oh, man, it was only a silver birthday. Some festive balloons are our gift. So we've got some festive balloons to celebrate the birthday. Where is Iris going with those? Okay. 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 Iris? <gasps> Iris, were you back here the whole time? I think she was all the way... Oh my gosh. Where was she? Look at her. She's on some sort of like secret Capri salad mission. Was she really back here? So, so. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. You know what? I think Ollie is going to designate herself the self-appointed cleaner upper of this part of the the town because everyone makes such a mess over here. And there we go. Now it's just the birthday, the birthday girls and Holly. Look at all the plates on the floor. What a family party. At least we have plenty of money that we can make from dragging the plates back in after this party. But my gosh, all right. So Lily, she just left for work. She's like, mm, I'm, not, I'm not sticking around. She is 152 days old. So she's been around for a very long time, almost an entire year. So I feel like it's time, it's appropriate for her to, to age up and turn into an elder. And I think it's sweet that Zoe aged up with her. And I think Zoe's going to enjoy... Like Zoe's having a really good time just chatting with Holly. Are you going? Are you going, Holly? Bye, Holly. And Alia just woke up. There's plenty of Capri salad for days, Alia. So please, <laughs> feel free to participate. Joke about engineers. That seems like the kind of joke we would have in this household. All right. So it's going to be very interesting keeping an eye on Alia because both of her moms are very old, and I don't know how long they will be around. Um. I've never had elders before, so Tate, Zoe, and Lily are actually our very first elders, to be honest. So this is going to be a little bit interesting. Alright, she wants to lock her door because she's a teenager. That's hilarious. Well, we can lock her door. Lock door for everyone but Alia. There, that's going to make her happy. Now no one can go in her room. Does she want to donate to charity? Oh, because she's so nice. Alright, well, that was an interesting party. I promise I'll learn how to throw better parties because these guys deserve better than a wormhole. The star sheriff is hot on Lily's tail, so she decides to detour through an uncharted galaxy and comes face to face with a giant wormhole. Should she go through the wormhole to avoid capture or should she wait and see to it by it to see what happens? Um, let's enter it. Because that's totally... Oh my gosh! Hurrah! Lily emerges the other side of the wormhole in the exact duplicate of her own universe, which was in which the only difference is she no, was no longer wanted by the law. Woo, what are the odds? So she gained some weight. 
<laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so Lily gained some weight from that little expedition through the wormhole. All right, there we go. Just kind of cleaning up after the party. Jeez Louise. I guess party food, you can like only clean. You can only drag into the sink and things like that. I didn't know that. All right. And these two have their vacation day, even though Lily totally just, she was off. And let's see, I'm going to let Alia eat some more Capri salad because we have plenty. <laughs> And then we might have her work on her garden, call some people. Um, Alia is going to be very interesting because she is kind of like a lone teenager right now. And we'll have to see what we're going to do with her in the future in terms of making friends, um, in terms of love interest. Because she really clicked with some aliens, a alien named Kay. And ooh, her little alien garden is growing well. Look at how prickly it is. She also needs to start going on more space missions. A daily space mission is soon going to be part of her like required teaching from her moms. I can totally see that happening. All right. And meanwhile, Zoe's going around cleaning everything up. So I think this is this is going to be interesting, keeping an eye on this side of the family. And now we are also going to go into our game options. And we are going to make it so that all of the sims age so we're gonna auto age all played sims and that means that we'll have both families aging together now so that they'll be side by side and aging rather than one family always being like ahead and the other being stuck frozen into the past of their youth and that's just going to make it more interesting as our family line branches out and we keep track of them so lily's off at work Zoe needs to do more work so she can get promoted. I'm beginning to think maybe she doesn't ever want to be promoted past Space Cadet. And she just wants to spend her time being a friend of the world. So we might actually work more on having more friends for her. Send her to the spa. I think that she would love a day at the spa. Maybe out with Devin. Maybe Zoe and Devin will be friends. And we definitely need to go back to Pine and get poor Pine promoted. I can't believe he's still just an assistant nurse. So we're going to try to get him promoted. And there are so many more stories and adventures coming up for our Sims in the future. And I just can't cannot wait to share them with you guys. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.